Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. In this video lecture, we will study the circuit analysis by Laplace transform. We will use the Laplace transform to solve this circuit. We will find the current IT in this circuit. I will explain you how to use Kirchhoff's voltage law that is KVL in a circuit correctly. Okay, we will solve this problem. We'll use uh, First of all, we will write the KVL equation for this and will convert this into S domain. Okay, that is the Laplace transform by taking Laplace transform and in the end, we will take the inverse Laplace transform to find the current IT. Okay, we will also draw the Laplace transformed circuit for this circuit equivalent Laplace transform that is in S domain representation. This is the S domain representation of the circuit. I will explain you. Okay. Now we will see the problem in the following circuit. The switch is closed at t equals to zero. Okay. And three farad and six farad capacitors are charged to 20 volts and 10 volts. You see here uh, we use here two resistors of one ohm each and two capacitors of three farad and six farad. Okay. And these are charged initially to 20 volts. This has a initial charge of 20 volt on this capacitor and 10 volt is present initially on this 6 farad capacitor. Now, I want to find the current IT that is flowing in this circuit and will also draw its Laplace transform that is a S domain circuit that is equivalent to this circuit. So first of all, what we will do, we will write the KVL equation Kirchhoff's voltage law equation for this circuit. Let's write it. Although we can uh, solve this circuit, we can uh, find the current IT without using the Laplace transform, but it, it becomes very easy to solve this circuit by using Laplace transform. We do not deal with, we do not have to deal with these integrals and solving these integrals. So we can simply use Laplace transform. Uh, so what is uh, the KVL equation for this circuit? Let's write it. I have assumed uh, that current is flowing in this uh, direction. This is a clockwise direction. You see how I am using the Laplace, uh, how I am using the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Okay, see the directions. So according to Kirchhoff's voltage law, the net potential drop in a closed uh, circuit is zero. Okay, so this is the across the capacitor. We know the voltage is uh, I have assumed that this is capacitor C1, this is capacitor C2 and this is resistance uh, resistor R1 and resistor R2, C1, C2, R1, R2. So uh, the voltage across a capacitor is 1 upon C integral IT dt, integration from minus infinity to T. Okay. So I have used 1 upon C1 and across the resistor it is uh, V is R into I, I into R, okay, R1 into IT, IT is flowing through this and uh, since current is flowing in this direction, so it is R2 into IT and uh, this is the capacitor, second number capacitor, so 1 upon C2, IT DT, integration from minus infinity to T. Okay, and it is equal to zero net potential drop. These are the this is the summation of uh, potentials across each component. This these two capacitors and two resistors, which is equal to zero. This is according to the Kirchhoff's voltage law. Now understand, uh, we will put the values of C1, C2, R1, R2, and we'll also understand uh, the signs. Okay, how we use uh, positive and negative sign. This is the most important part. Okay, understand it. See here, since current is flowing in this direction, so this is the direction of flow of current, this clockwise, so upward direction, I have assumed uh, in this way. And uh, if I am going from here to here, since what is potential difference, final potential minus initial potential and I am going from uh, in this direction, since we know that uh, current flows, I am assuming this direction of uh, current flow at this place since current flows from higher potential to uh, lower potential it means that uh, so for this capacitor if current is assumed i can assume uh, the direction of current in any way either clockwise or anti-clockwise so if current is flowing in this way i've assumed it then it means the potential is at at this point is higher and at this point is lower okay so uh, final minus initial means lower potential minus higher higher potential so it becomes negative so minus you see here 
1 upon c integral i t d t. So, uh, c1 is what? The value of capacitor is 3. So, 1 upon c1 is 1 upon 3. It is minus, final minus initial potential difference. And the switch is closed at t equal to 0. So, I am uh, taking the limits uh, from uh, 0 to t and i t d t. Now, it also has a voltage of uh, initial voltage of 20 volts. Okay. So, since uh, see the voltage uh, polarity, it is higher potential and it is lower potential. It is the initial voltage on this. So, the difference final minus initial will be plus 20 volts. Okay. So, it is plus 20 volts. Then it comes uh, the resistor. Since current is flowing in this direction. Okay. So, final minus initial current is flowing from higher voltage to lower voltage. Okay. So, higher potential to lower potential. So, final minus initial. So, R into I. R into I is the voltage uh, across this resistor. So, minus of R into I. Final is lower minus initial voltage is higher. So, it is negative. So, minus of here see minus 1 into I t in the same way for the second resistor R into I R is the value for this it is 1 into I into uh, R into I t it is again negative we have assumed this direction of current okay and now comes the second number capacitor so if I see the equation is uh, for voltage drop across it is 1 upon C integral I T D T. Since current is flowing in this direction, you understand this concept very clearly. Okay. Uh, current is flowing in this direction. So, if I uh, write the equation, uh, if I write the expression for the voltage. So, differences, uh, potential differences, final minus initial. So, current is from flowing from higher to lower. So, lower potential minus higher potential. It means negative. So, it is minus of 1 upon 6. Okay. C is 6 here. So, minus of 1 upon 6, 0 to T, I T, D T. 1 upon C integral I T, D T. And this is 10 volt is the initial voltage uh, present on this capacitor which is 10 volts. So, you see uh, if I am moving in this direction upward to downwards. So, it is uh, at lower and this is terminal is at uh, higher potential. Okay. So, it is difference is negative final minus initial. So, 10 volts is negative. Okay. So, minus of 10 volt. This is the equation. I can multiply it by negative sign on both sides. Okay. Just uh, uh, interchange the signs uh, negative to positive and I have just uh, changed these signs only minus 20 plus uh, uh, this is i uh, 1 it minus of it minus of it is minus of 2 it so it has changed to plus 2 it and plus 6 1 by 6 you can see it i have changed the sign so only now this is our equation this is in time domain okay i will change it to the s domain by taking its laplace transform so that it becomes easy we get rid of these uh, integral expressions so, let's take the Laplace transform. We know that the Laplace transform of integration integral is uh, I s by s. Okay. From in, uh, if it is integral from 0 to t i t d t then its uh, Laplace transform will be I s by s. Okay. And this is constant. So, you should know the formulas for basic Laplace transformation for solving this circuit. So, 1 by 3 constant term as it is and its Laplace transform is I s by s. Okay. And it is a constant term. Constant term Laplace transform is divided by s. So, minus 20 by s plus 2 constant term and I Laplace transform of, of I t is I s plus 1 by 6. This is the constant part and Laplace transform of this integration uh, same like this. Okay. Uh, it is I s by s plus 10 by s for a constant Laplace transform is constant term divided by s and it is equal to 0. Now, it is a simple mathematics. Now, solve this uh, simply uh, simple term uh, this uh, i s term this one and uh, this one we have taken i s common. So, in the uh, in the bracket we have 1 by 3 s from this and 1 by 6 s this is 2 i s and uh, 
this is minus 20 by s and uh, plus 10 by s it becomes minus uh, 10 by s and on transferring it to this side it becomes positive of uh, plus sign uh, 10 by s okay so on solving this uh, for i s we get this 1 by 3 s plus 1 by 6 s becomes 1 by 2 s and uh, plus 2 i s 10 by s and uh, on solving this i will get i s equals to this 20 by 4 s plus 1 okay uh, let's divide it by 4 in the numerator and uh, denominator i will get 5 by s plus 0.25 so this is the uh, is this is the current in uh, s domain but i want the current in time domain okay so for this i will have to take its uh, inverse laplace transform and inverse laplace transform is uh, for this expression would be 5 e to the power minus 0.25 t this is uh, because of this formula by this formula since the laplace inverse of uh, 1 by s plus a is e to the power minus at here a is what a is here is in this expression 1 1 by s plus a, a is the 0.25 so it becomes 5 okay 5 is the constant part and 1 by s plus uh, uh, a this term so it becomes e to the power minus a t minus of a is 0 0.25 into t it is ampere it is an ampere current uh, unit of current so this was uh, the way how we can use the kvl and uh, use the first we take the laplace transform find the uh, solution and in, uh, in s domain and then take the laplace inverse inverse laplace to get the current in the s uh, in the time domain okay the next part of our question was to find the s domain representation that is the laplace transformed equivalent of the circuit that we have seen so this is the laplace transform equivalent circuit for for this circuit okay so let's see how we do this we know that the laplace transform of a capacitor would be 1 by sc okay 1 by is 1 by cs okay so it is the capacitor having value 3 so 1 by sc means 1 by s and c c is the 3 3 at this place so i replace this by 1 by 3s okay and uh, in the same way for this capacitor it is 1 by cs so 1 by 6s see here 1 by 6s and uh, for this these two voltages these are the voltages 20 volt and 10 volt these are simply the uh, constant terms so for constant term we know the laplace transform is constant term divided by s so it is 20 by s and for this it is a voltage source okay it, we uh, transform it uh, we assume it as a voltage of 20 volt and 10 volt so 20 by s and 10 by s see the polarities uh, it is positive and negative in this way so this is the notation and uh, here it is upward it is positive and downward side is negative so use the polarities uh, same as the original circuit plus and minus okay 10 by s now see the resistance part for the resistance uh, the we have two resistors uh, one ohm and one ohm each and for resistor we directly use we use the s domain as uh, we have combined these two as one and one so one plus one equals to two so two okay and this it is is in s domain so this is the s domain equivalent or the laplace transformed equivalent of the time domain circuit so i hope you enjoyed the video and learned uh, how to use uh, laplace transform while while solving the circuits and how we can use the kirchhoff's voltage law correctly in a circuit we also understood the concept of uh, representing a time domain uh, circuit into s domain circuit so thank you for watching the video please like and share this video with your friends and please don't forget to subscribe my channel engineering made easy for more such videos see you guys in the next video till then bye bye